माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर क्लासेस फ्राम एल पी एम पब्लिक स्कूल सिचुएटेड इन गोला बाजार गोरखपुर सो दिस इज योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर विद अ रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ यूनिट टेन दैट इज मेजरमेंट सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक्स दैट आर मेजरमेंट ऑफ लेंथ that and measurement of weight so students on that topics you had learnt about the unit of length that is meter and centimeter and in topic measurement of weight you will know about or you had know about the unit of weight that are gram and kilogram so students in our today's video we are going to cover the new topic that is measurement of capacity so students the word more and less tell us about the amount of liquid in any containers so amount of liquid in a con- container or you can say that the amount of liquid a container can hold is called capacity of that container so students here we are going to know about how to measure the capacity so students look at this picture i need more water to bath so in this picture look here elephant is bathing and here monkey is also bathing elephant need more water to bath while a monkey need less water to bath so students a bucket monkey is bathing in the bucket and elephant is bathing in the river so a bucket hold less quantity of water than a river so a bucket has less capacity than a river the so students here definition for a capacity the capacity of a container is the maximum quantity of liquid it can hold or you can say that the amount of liquid a container can hold is called capacity so students we need different units to measure capacity so here unit of capacity first is milliliter so let's know about milliliter so the short form of milliliter is ml milliliter is a unit of capacity we use milliliter to measure small quantities of liquid we can measure the quantity this containers can hold in milliliter like students this container contain small quantity of liquid this is the capacity of this container is 10 ml and capacity of cup is 200 ml and the capacity of mug is 500 ml now let's come to the next unit that is liter so students milliliter is smallest unit of capacity and liter is a bigger unit of a capacity and the short form of liter is l we use liter to measure large quantities of liquids we measure the quantity this containers can hold in liter so students look at this container it hold 2 liter this is a picture of juice container and this is a bucket and bucket contains or the capacity of bucket is 10 liter this is the bigger bucket and capacity of this bucket is 12 liter now let's come to the exercises of this topic 
तो स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ए विच यूनिट विल यू यूज टू मेजर द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो स्टूडेंट्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टेल विच यूनिट ऑफ कैपेसिटी इज यूज फॉर फॉलोइंग कंटेनर्स सो लुक एट द पिक्चर दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ ग्लास it hold the capacity milliliter swimming pool liter so you will tick here tank liter petrol liter now students let's come to the question number b how much liquid can each of the following hold right m for more than a liter and l for less than a liter so students here a picture of bowl is given so bowl Uh, contain less than a liter so you can write here or you will write here l a bucket contain more than a liter it means here you will write m and jug contains more than a liter so you can write here more m and a pot also contain more than a liter so here you will write m and a cup contain less than a liter it means you will write here l and glass also can hold small amount of liquid it means less than a liter so you will write here l now let's come to the question number c that is number the containers from the smallest capacity to the greatest capacity so students so here look at the given picture shows the container with the smallest capacity so students here first spoon is a container with the smallest capacity and in second number there is a bowl after it glass at third number then pot at fourth number bucket at fifth number and the last one that is tank so here tank is at six number so this question is completed now i hope you understood it now students let's come to the mental math from this chapter take the unit you will use to measure the following so students look here height of a tree can be measured in meter or centimeter right meter next is length of a shoe laces can be measured in meter or centimeter right centimeter third length of your toothbrush can be measured in meter or centimeter right centimeter length of a book can be measured in meter or centimeter correct centimeter height of a your house can be measured measured in meter or centimeter right meter so students this was the question number a let's come to the question number b join each picture to the correct box so students a ball football is less than a kg leaf is also less than a kg fruit of basket is more than a kg and the weight of a blood uh, sorry bird is less than a kg and the weight of a crayon is also less than a kg and the weight of girl is more than a kg so this was question number b now let's come to the question number c tick the one you would used to measure capacity so students here to measure capacity we use liter and this is a picture of liter because this is weighing scale and it is used for measuring weight and this is centimeter scale that are used to measure length so here option number or option number 3 that is liter is the correct one
so you will take this now students let's come to the worksheet of this unit this is the last worksheet of this unit so let's discuss about it question number a look at these things in your house take the unit of length that you will use to measure this object so students this is a picture of pencil and pencil is used or the length of pencil can be measured by unit centimeter next is table so the length of this table is or can be measured by centimeter the length of eraser is also measured by centimeter at last this is a picture of bed and the length of a bed is measured by meter now students question number b jesse takes care to feed the animals on his farm take the correct unit of measurement of quantity of food for this animal so students here jesse take care to feed the animals on his farm so here this is a picture of cock or hen so students the quantity of food that hen can eat or feed is can be in gram so you will tick at g that is gram and food for dog is or can, food of dog can be measured in kilogram food of cow can be also measured in kilogram and food of horse can be also measured in kilogram now students here activity work for you take a jug of water and some glasses of the same size with the help of an adult pour water from the jug into the glasses how many glasses could you fill if you double the number of glasses how many jugs of water will you need to fill them so students this is activity work for you do this at your home and do practice all the exercises of this unit because this unit is completed now in our next video we will discuss about our next unit so do practice now your turn to study it and grasp it keep learning and keep smiling thank you students bye and take care